and welcome to the first edition of Hometown Headlines presented by Cenex, a series where we highlight the culture and traditions that make your community, well, your community. The Northern Lakes Cooperative secured a grant for its prized Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame. Now, the funds will restore the reflection pond housing its big musky sculpture, a 150-foot fish that, well, miraculously grows a few feet every time I ask. The Hayward, Wisconsin Museum is home to enshrined anglers, boatloads of vintage fishing gear, and my state seaweed record that I continue to break year after year after year. And now, to today's five-star tourist attraction. From the home of Key Cooperative in Story City, Iowa, this antique carousel was painstakingly hand-carved over 80 years ago. And for just a dollar, you can still take a spin on it today. Our correspondent in the field asked young riders which animal they like best. Horses! Chickens! Puppies! Peggies! Those are great, but uh, I'd say that I am partial to the horsey. Our comeback story of the year takes place in Kenmare, North Dakota, home to one of three authentic Danish windmills in the U.S. Uh, an arsonist burned the monument in 2019. But thanks to a grant from Farmers Union Oil Company, the windmill will be restored to its former glory. In its honor, I will eat the second best thing from Denmark, the Danish Kringle. Here we go. Well, this was a bad idea. Before we go, we take you down to High Plains Cooperative Country, where the Claussen Popcorn Stand in Plainview, Minnesota has served buttery aromas and fresh popcorn since 1956. Mm. Post your hometown's hidden treasure in the comments below and visit Senex.com to see all the ways Senex gives back to communities just like yours. Till next time.